What's up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Go Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2022 Toyota Highlander Platinum, courtesy of Younger Toyota in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, we are in this one today because this one gives you Lexus-like quality paired up with Toyota's legendary reliability. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so specifically for the 2022 highlander platinum there will be two different configurations you got the front wheel drive starting at forty eight thousand ten dollars and then the all-wheel drive which of course is the one we have today starting at forty nine thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars but regardless of which configuration that you go with the power plant on this one is going to be the same powering the beast is a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 295 horsepower 6600 rpm 263 pound feet of torque coming in at 4700 rpm power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 6.8 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 21 in the city 29 on the highway for the front wheel drive 20 city 27 then on the highway for the all wheel drive taking regular unleaded fuel but said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our highlander i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes there's actually a drive mode switch and then a drive mode dial located directly behind the shifter and so the switch is going to be for your on-road drive modes you got eco normal and sport and then the dial is going to be for your off-road drive modes for those you got mud and sand rock and dirt and then normal all of these drive modes essentially adjusting things like the shift points throttle response steering sensitivity and then for the off-road drive modes the all-wheel drive system engagement then as well and so having now gotten all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and throw it in the sport driving mode here let me hit it one more time and it immediately downshifted for me so it is going to hold the rpm at a much higher level obviously but having done that let's go ahead and find a straightaway and let's put the highlander here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right in three two one go All right, definitely not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway. It's not the quickest thing in the world, but it is a three row SUV, so I didn't expect it to be, but it is a naturally aspirated V6, so it is incredibly reliable and it has plenty of power to do just about anything you're gonna wanna do in an SUV. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.3 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.3 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 is your stopping distance goes, it's going to come in at an extremely impressive 116 feet. And just testing out the braking feel, it's 100% on the firmer side of things, which is absolutely amazing i love a firm braking field instantly brings you to a stop and this is important because if you have kids in the back seat somebody comes to a quick stop in front of you you want to be able to come to an equally as quick stop so you don't end up hitting them so definitely braking is 100 percent on point typically in suvs a lot of times you even get the upper 130s for that 60 zero stopping distance so again 116 feet is 100 percent on point so absolutely love that but anyways then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent mcpherson strut front suspension in the back trailing wishbone type rear suspension front stabilizer bar as well as far as ride quality goes it's been 100 percent perfectly fine in my short little test drive here today so absorbing hagerstown's road imperfections extremely nicely as far as steering feel goes i would say it feels right it's definitely not as loosey-goosey as you typically get on a lot of other three-row suvs as well so definitely Definitely perfectly fine as far as steering feel goes. As far as cabin noise goes, you guys, I am going 50 miles per hour on the dot right now, and cabin noise is 100% on point. I mean, I'm getting very little coming into the cabin, and it's due in part because there is an acoustic laminated front windshield that comes standard, but specific to the platinum trim level that we have today, you actually get acoustic laminated front door glass as well. So that is going to absorb a lot of the wind noise coming into the cabin. So that is why it is 100% on point here in the Highlander. But then touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. So definitely not gonna have any issues there. Rain 
distancing windshield wipers do come standard as well and specific to the Platinum yet again you do get a head-up display projecting your speed speed limit there's a compass there's fuel information the safety features are going to be displayed up there as well so very bright display even with sunglasses on I can see it perfectly fine so that's definitely very nice but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 toyota highlander platinum all right so here she is you guys the new 2022 toyota highlander platinum finished in silver metallic parked in the woods gotta love it but anyways let's go ahead and start up front on this one black painted front grille with chrome surrounds that you guys are currently looking at do like the little wings to the left and the right of the toyota logo up front there as well silver finish found on the front lip one of those distinguishing factors with the platinum trim level comparatively speaking to the other trim levels on the highlander but my very favorite part as far as exterior goes when it comes to the highlander are the headlights because LED projector headlights do come standard. So typically you'll find LED reflector headlights, which are great, but they're not as projected. They're not as bright as the projector headlights. The LED projector headlights are the best you can get, but it gets better. Adaptive front lighting system as well. So when you're going around a bend at night, those headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle. Better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or an animal or a bicyclist or a person or whatever. So that is definitely a very nice safety feature in itself. Auto leveling feature as well. LED daytime running lights, you get the automatic feature and you get automatic high beams as well. So when you're driving at night yet again, you got your high beams on, those high beams will switch back to low beams if it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to bounce it back up to high beams again. So it's just one less thing you got to worry about. So that is definitely very nice as well. Then just below those headlights, you got some very bright LED fog lights that do come standard on the Highlander Platinum then as well. So overall, the lighting is 100% on point with this one. But that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so but now since we are around to the side of the Highlander Platinum, first thing that always catches my eye on this one is the gloss black A-pillar. Kind of distinguishes itself from other SUVs out there with that, but silver roof rails also coming standard up top there. You got rear privacy glass, of course. You got some chrome belt line molding as well. I like the body colored side skirts as well because a lot of other SUVs out there will leave that matte black. So huge fan of the body Body colored side skirts on the Highlander here. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals. You're actually going to get puddle lights with the Highlander logo projecting down from those side mirrors at night as well. So I'm not going to be able to show it to you right now, but that is what the Platinum gets you. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Reverse tilt down feature, of course, coming standard with them as well. So also another thing I wanted to mention is you get those Lexus light creases found on the rear doors that kind of taper off into the taillights. So big design element that I'm a huge fan of there as well. And of course, when it comes to the wheel setup, you will find 20 inch alloys, multi-spoke alloy wheels. So definitely a very nice look there as well. But that pretty much rounds out the side profile here. So now go ahead and make our way to the back of the Highlander. So but now since we are around to the back of this one, body colored shark fin antenna found all the way to the top. Just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Just below that rear window wiper, you do get LED tail lights coming standard as well to tie in together with the LED headlights, of course. Do you actually have some platinum all wheel drive back? You guys will see that on the bottom right hand corner of the rear tailgate there So that is definitely pretty cool You got some silver accents found on the bottom portion to tie in with the silver accents up front of course and a single exhaust outlet tucked away so having said that I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So but now since we are around to the back of the Highlander, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate that does come standard on the Highlander Platinum. There is a button on the key fob as well. There's a button on the tailgate itself. And again, it's hands-free, of course. But anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity behind that third row at least comes in at an even 16 cubic feet. Behind the second row with that third row folded down, 48.4 cubic feet. And with all rows folded, 
84.3 cubic feet so definitely a good bit of space there pretty much in line with the honda pilot i believe theirs is 84 cubic feet point something as well but anyways there is a 60 40 split there is some cargo lighting back there there is a cargo cover there is a 12 volt power outlet there are tie down anchors grocery bag hooks and if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you will find some in-floor storage if you were wondering if there's a spare tire there is it's actually located underneath next to the exhaust underneath of the highlander so that is going to be the answer for that one but anyways then making our way up to the third row legroom that is going to come in at 27.7 inches so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there rear ventilation of course does come standard for all three rows it's going to be found kind of on the ceiling of the highlander so it's very nice there and you do have some cup holders on each side for those third row passengers as well but then making our way up to the second row legroom that is going to come in at an even 41 inches again for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there did want to also mention though in case anybody was curious the highlander platinum does come standard with captain's chairs meaning two seats in the middle as opposed to the three bench seating that you sometimes get on the uh, lower trim levels i guess you could say charging ports can be found back there they are the usb a so they're the smaller charging ports also there is a 120 volt power outlet back there as well which i was kind of surprised to see so that is pretty cool heated second row seats come standard on the highlander platinum huge fan of that you do get some manual second row sunshades as well also a huge fan of that to keep the sun out of your kids eyes so and there's actually a little bit of storage and a couple cup holders located within the middle between those captain's chairs as well but then make your way up to the front seats 10-way power adjustable driver seat with power lumbar does come standard leather seating of course being the standard finish heated and ventilated front seats as well memory settings for up to two different drivers found on the uh, driver's side door there there is an eight-way power adjustable passenger seat that comes standard as well but overall seating was plenty comfortable i like the little uh, diamond pattern design found in the seats as well they're definitely not going to have any issues with taking this thing on a long road trip to ocean city maryland or rehoboth beach or where Wherever you want to go i'm just saying i'm on the east coast but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped and it is heated actually as well so very nice there then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your highlander specific key because you got the highlander lettering on the one side but then flip it over you got lock unlock and of course that button to pop the rear tailgate but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot in the brake and press that engine start button located just below the gauges there and so once started up tachometer is all the way to your left speedometer is all the way to your right and there is a fairly large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display there are steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel that gives you things like your outside temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty trip a trip b safety information radio information the list goes on so pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges there then make our way to overall interior quality panoramic moonroof coming standard on the highlander platinum gotta love that overhead sunglass holder also coming standard you got the school bus mirror as well so you could spy on the rear passengers and yell at them if you would like tri-zone climb control also coming standard meaning driver passenger and the rear passengers can all set their own temperatures if they wanted to chrome interior door handles gotta love that you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror with home link controls for up to three different garage doors also very nice ambient interior lighting coming standard you got some ornamental dash trim as well and you got some metal scuff plates and this uh wood like trim i'll put it that way but it actually feels plastic but i do like the design to it so it's a very nice wood like design found just around the shifter and the cup holders as well as on the doors there as well so overall very nice interior quality you got some extra space extra cargo space located just underneath the infotainment screen even more more space just underneath of that usb charging port usb c charging port two usb a's a 12 volt power outlet dual cup holders again electromechanical parking brake and within the center armrest is actually where you're going to find that wireless phone charger and a decent amount of storage underneath of that as well so overall interior quality has everything you could possibly want more or less but now let's go ahead and make our way to that infotainment screen because it is massive it is a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display bluetooth and audio streaming of course android auto apple carplay factory navigation does come standard as well you also have your climate control settings up there your heated seat settings up there as well and of course your radio information and so when it comes to the standard sound system on the highlander platinum you will get an 11 speaker jbl sound system with an external amp and a subwoofer so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and 
let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Plenty of clarity there, plenty of bass. JBL, I actually had a JBL subwoofer in my first car. I thought it was so cool. Put an external sub in the back of my trunk there, but JBL is definitely reputable. They have been around for forever, I feel like, so that is definitely a very nice sound system for the Highlander without a doubt. But then last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Highlander Platinum in reverse, you not only will get a rear view camera taking up the entire left portion of the screen, but you're also going to get a 360 degree monitor found on the right. So that is the best setup you could possibly get for this thing which is always it's going to lead us into safety and so to start the highlander platinum is an iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs that pretty much says it all right there front side side curtain airbags do come standard you get a driver's knee airbag up front as well a passenger seat cushion airbag as well you usually don't find that on other manufacturers so that was pretty cool in the back you're gonna have latch aka lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but all also, coming standard will be Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus. That is going to include a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, dynamic radar, cruise control, and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. And so, overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here, the Highlander Platinum definitely gives you plenty of luxury, including this panoramic moonroof. I got a color head up display, like I was mentioning to you guys. This wood look trim that I absolutely love. So plenty of luxury found in this thing. Of course, to go with that, you have incredible reliability this is not a turbocharged engine this isn't even a direct injected engine this is a Atkinson cycle naturally aspirated v6 so you cannot beat that you got perfect safety of course like I just mentioned with incredible headlights it doesn't get any better than the headlight setup that we have here on the Highlander Platinum the only thing missing the only thing I would possibly add to this thing would be a full digital gauge cluster so you got a 12.3 inch infotainment screen I wish they could make a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that's customizable. You can change the colors per the driving mode or something even. So that's the only thing I could see missing because they got that on the uh, new Tundra now as well. But let me know what you guys think of the new Highlander Platinum in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold